inside Power Automate, we have an action called send an email v2. And I'm pretty sure 99.8% of you have already used this control. It's fantastic. It sends email, it can CC, it can accept attachments, it can send email as HTML, it can use shared mailbox, all those good things. But unfortunately, unfortunately, it has a feature which is rich text editor for the email body. And I wish it was not there. In this video, I want to show you how that tiny thing can mess up your email and disorganize your HTML, however you put it in there. And we also see how we can avoid it. Enjoy the video. I tried to make a very simple scenario to show you how this problem can cause some disasters when you are delivering the project or you are making some minor changes. I created the simplest flow that could show you what's going on here. And in this case, it is a manual flow that accepts a search word and then sends an email. At the moment, it just has a dummy subject like test subject and a body, which is technically empty. If I just save it and run it, I can test it manually and it sends an email. Continue and test at the moment. It doesn't really matter because it doesn't do anything with this string and I say done. And as you can see, if I go back to my mailbox, you will see this email here. Nothing special. Now let's go back to something that may really happen in the real life. To show you the issue, I made up some scenario myself. Let's say you go to Google and search for the word donkey. If you press enter, first Google generates a search string or a search URL like this. So whatever the Google address is, it says slash search question mark Q equals your search string and then redirects you to this URL and you will see the result. So now in our scenario, we want our flow accepts this search string, generates this URL and sends this URL to a user as email. So here, my email should contain something like this. HTTPS colon slash slash google.com slash search question mark Q equals whatever that comes from here, which is my search word. And I can save it. Let me test it again. And this time, I'm searching for donkey and I click on run flow done. And here is the email. If I just copy it, open it, you will see something like this. So the link is generated perfectly fine. We're good. Now let's play with it and make it a little bit fancier as we should using the HTML tags. So let me start by subject. Let's say I call it search link for whatever that comes from here, which is my search word. There we go. Then I can come here while I have this string, I can make it fancier and I can say, dear sir, here is the link to Google your requested keyword. And then I want to go to the next one and I want to say, no, this is not just a plain URL. I want to make it something fancier. Let me just take it out. And I say, click here to find search result for whatever the search word that comes from here. So now if I save and run it, that's going to look a little bit better like this. Again, my donkey and I click on run flow done. And let's check the email now. All right, this is better. Now, the only thing that we need to do, we need to convert this one to a hyperlink. Now, if I go back inside flow, I can select a text and I can make it a hyperlink. 
The only problem is that the target link is going to be something fixed. So I cannot put my search word or a dynamic value as a target link or even putting it in a variable doesn't do the job because here it just accepts some static text. Unless we click on this guy here, which takes us to the HTML view of this email. And this is the cause of all the problems that we may have. Let's do it. So here I can say A for the hyperlink and I can close this piece by slash A for the HTML tag. I come right in the beginning and I say href, which is going to be my hyperlink, double quote, double quote, and in between I put my Google link and we're good, right? Let me save it and see how we can test it. Manually, I can say my donkey again and I click on run flow done fantastic we got it you know what let me click on it and see what we get beautiful the email is fantastic what else can you expect now let me show you where the problem is let's go back to edit i can go out of it you're good but next day your client says you know what i want this donkey to be bold for example so we said no problem we come back here we open this guy, I click on edit and I expand it. And yes, here is your disaster because all of a sudden it messed up everything. I click on here and you will see all of a sudden because it switched it to the HTML view, it messed up with quite a few of your tags. Even if I don't touch it and if I just save it now, keep that in mind that it didn't change anything. I click on test and I click on manually run the flow again my donkey and i click on run flow think about it i didn't change anything this is my message see the beauty it messed up the entire thing i didn't do anything i just opened the email and closed it now this can be an email with lots of customizations styles and all those things you just save it and you open it again and everything is messed up that's why i say if you are dealing with any dynamic content, never use this code view here. Instead, create a variable, initialize variable, and I call it var underscore email body. Type is going to be a string. And whatever that was supposed to go here as of HTML, let me just copy everything here, bring it here. And then instead of all these tags and texts and everything else that you have here, just come back here and insert the body here. When you do it like this, send email v2 does not change anything. Now here you can comfortably put all your HTML thingy and let me see if I can fix this guy now. Here is the link. I don't need this piece anymore. This is just a junk that it added. Okay, so right after this, it's going to be, here is going to be my open a tag. Here is going to be my href equals. Yeah, this is my href actually. I can take it from here up to Q. All right. I don't need this one anymore. Here is my search. I need my double quote as the closing for the href. And after that, I close the angular bracket. And I don't need this extra hyperlink tag anymore. Very good. The only thing is that this text should come between this opening and closing text. Looks okay to me. The main thing is that as soon as you create the HTML here, if you just copy it and put it in a variable and then bring this variable inside the send email v2, everything is good. So let's save it, test this time. Again, I search for my donkey and I click on run flow, done. And here is my new email. And as you can see, it is still missing the search word. I can come back here, no problem. The main thing is that if I just get out of this and I come back inside it again, the initialize variable in a string variable doesn't mess up anything. So string four, I can put my search string right here. 
click, and I just save it again. And because inside send email v2, there is no weird HTML tags or anything else like that. It doesn't do anything. And you can make your updates happily ever after. And this is the last one for Donkey. And I click on run flow, done. And here is my email that I can click on it and see my beautiful donkey. So always, always, always put your email body constructed in a separate variable and then just bring that variable inside the send email v2 body. All right, I have been aware of this issue and trust me, even today I make this mistake and I start putting the HTML tags inside the send email v2. It's normal. And the reason is that quite often we start email with something very simple. Then we take it for the client review. They say, oh, you know what? How about adding a link here? How about adding this here? How about adding that here? How about changing this style here? And when these things happen, we are opening the can of worm for a disaster. I hope this video helps you at least keep that in mind that this is the case. So until Microsoft releases this send an email v3 without this problem, uh, we know how to deal with it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.